For you, what would be the lasting image that encapsulates 13 years of Labour government? Well, I'm going to cheat on this one and uh, choose two uh, images. I mean, I think, the, I think one of the images was of uh, Tony Blair in the refugee camps in Kosovo uh, in uh, 1999. I think that was, uh, that was the shining moment of, uh, of Tony Blair's foreign policy as he uh, defeated ethnic cleansing and eventually saw off uh, Milosevic, uh, who was a vicious tyrant uh, and was only uh, brought down and, uh, uh, well, only stopped and brought down uh, because of Tony Blair's uh, courage in persuading uh, Bill Clinton to stand up to him. And the other image, I think, would be the diamond-shaped table with uh, Ian Paisley and Gerry Adams at its apex uh, at the, towards the end of Tony Blair's time, because I think the solution in Northern Ireland was you know, a really lasting historical achievement uh, that wouldn't have been possible under any other uh, Prime Minister and uh, had eluded uh, all British Prime Ministers uh, back as far as Gladstone. I think for anyone in the Labour Party, and certainly for me personally, the lasting image will always be how it all began and that amazing night in May 1997, and particularly uh, remembering Tony Blair as he arrived uh, in London from his constituency and made a very powerful speech on the steps of the Royal Festival Hall. Of course, there are all sorts of other images, both positive and negative, that many of us could cite, but I think the most powerful one for me would still be the early hours of May the 2nd, 1997. I think the last image I will always have is a rather agonised looking Gordon Brown at various stages when, when we were very visibly in crisis, most notably uh, during the banking crisis and the monetary crisis that uh, he presided over, and then his final days when he was clinging to office after he'd lost the election.